Well, we had a couple of days working on the boat and then this happened again. Pouring rain, wind again. So we're back to what we've had for the last four months or whatever it's been. But anyway, I can get on with this inside. This is the, uh, the, the, the cuddy, the storage box, the locker, whatever you want to call it. Basically, it's where, I'm going to keep, where the battery will go for the pumps and the wiring and stuff. So, just got to finish that off. And then I need to make another one. And the next one I make will be made out of like the marine supply again, like this heavy stuff. And basically, it'll be lined with like a stainless steel plate on the inside, bolted up, because that's where I'll put the, the fish finder, GPS. So I like to have a solid box, you know, that's um, pretty much bulletproof or kickproof, or whatever you want to call it. Not that the sounders that end up in it are usually worth much, because maybe the first year, but I normally take them home the first year when I have new sounders, and as they get older, then I'll leave them in that box on the boat. So. And the thing is, even if you steal the sounder or the GPS or whatever, it's, it's no good without its cables. And like for the sounder, the cable for the, G, for the sounder costs as much as, as the flaming unit. So that's why they're pretty pointless stealing, unless you just happen to have a cable that fits it. Right. Plus over here, if you steal it, what you've got to do is phone up the places that sell the cable and say, if anybody comes in wanting to buy a cable, let me know. <laughs> Or let the police know and then they'll check on people buying that cable. Right. Let's let's get this finished. So there you go, one new box for the for under the seat. You see it'll like so. Now I've got to put a floor in there just from here to here. There'll be a wooden sheet. This way this will stay up higher and keep any water from building up in here. I might leave the edges just a little bit short here so that if any moisture does get in it can come into the bottom here. And here, well I've got options, I can either put a couple of small holes through to the through the floor or I can put holes at the front here and when I accelerate the water, anything will come out or when the boat's tipped up it'll run out from there because there's always a slight slope anyway. So, i just got to give it a bit of a sand, give it a bit of paint, put it underneath or get the undercoat on and shove it underneath it all into position and we have that new box done but I am going to need to make another one like I say on top of the seat for the fish finder this is just purely for like I say battery maybe I can put some fishing tackle in there you know weights and things things that I need to get at easily when I'm fishing because I always fish from the back of the boat obviously or most of the time because I need to be at hand to the engine to be able to move out the way of rocks and things on there fishing in those sort of areas. So we've just given it a coat of sealer. Now it's to just paint it, put it in, paint it again. So the weather's turned from a couple of nice days back into this again. And they're just giving storms and rains for the next two weeks. It's ridiculous again. This is, uh, it's unbelievable this year. It's been storms and gales pretty much the whole winter. Right. Got to get on to box number two. Just... Well, job is good. Right, there's the 
box I took off the seat which had the sounder in. Um, we're going to change it, we're going to make a new one. I did think about using the sides off this but I'm not going to bother, I'm just going to make a brand new one. I've got the wood cut underneath the box we did the other day here so we'll get on with that. So I'm just drilling some holes in the, this will be part of the um, the base part that goes like that on the seat. So I'm drilling some holes through this now to make it easier because obviously getting in there after. And it's for bolts basically, I'll bolt the box down to the seat so it'll bolt, be bolted down, not just screwed down. Got to make some big enough holes Should do it for the bolts. Right, I cut that a little bit wider from the line because I forgot about the saw cut or the width of the saw so that should give me just enough when I cut this so it doesn't take off that saw width that I will need right, um, do is I will wax it, um, I'll wax the inside, I'll wax all inside there and I will wax the box here with a bit of, it'll be a bit of stain in the wax and that's all I do, I do every year because it's on the seat, the seats get waxed, I wax that, trouble if you use varnish, 
Um, the water always finds a way to get in under the varnish, you know, because it's a working boat, it'll get scratched, water gets under, heats up, blisters, you know, how it goes with varnish. And then it's a real pig to remove the varnish. So I only use a wax, a good, good, like I say, wax with a bit of stain in it. We'll just go over the whole thing and it will match the seat, basically. And the same inside, the I'll do the inside once, you won't have to do any more after that, it doesn't tend to wear out and then I'll wax the rest of this and this will keep it nice and dry in there because obviously you can have electrics going in there so um, yeah it just keeps any water out and works quite well because I've had one before so. So what I'm doing here is on this box, it's going to be attached to the seat and the floor. So I'm pre-drilling holes like this and here and here. And I'll do the same here on the sides and on the bottom because I'll be fixing the box in place into the seat and the floor. Then what I'm doing is, you see there, I just put a mark and I put a mark there on every hole like this. The idea being is that when I'm on the floor of the boat fitting this in I can't see anything very well I can look through there through there and we'll be able to see those marks from here and I know exactly where to put the screws in and obviously the pilot holes start the screw off so I don't have to start struggling with drill bits and all sorts later so I'm just giving this a wax now doing I'm melting the wax Just to make it like easier and it's soaking the wood better there we go cuddy's all done ready to go into be fitted into the boat and hopefully they will fit so if you're wondering what I'm doing I'm just um, putting a bit of sealant, silicon sealant, along the bottom of the box. When it goes down onto the floor, it'll press down and make a, hopefully, a watertight seal. So the water, when it, when I wash the boat and stuff and it rushes up against the boat, it doesn't go under the box. Um, over time, probably the water will eventually find its way, and when that happens, then I'll just drill holes and let the water drain out. But normally, I've done it before, and it lasts well, the last one was a couple of years, but that box moved a bit, so that's what made that one leak eventually. But like I say, it was about two years before any water started actually finding its way in. Um, plus, I can seal it afterwards around the edge, but I like to just have this, you know, when the weight of the box pushes down, it'll squash onto that and stop the water going into the box when there's a lot of water on the boat. So if you're wondering where we are, we're under the boat. It's actually covered, you can see up there. Um, even though water's still managing to get in here. Like I said, this plastic is actually flexing so much, it's getting holes put in it. So anyway, I'm in the process of doing this. They've got the box here. Um, I've just got under all these wires. Then I'm gonna clean it up and slide the box under. And of course that one will go into position as well. But it's not easy working on this, but because it's just non-stop rain all the time, um, I mean it's sunny at the moment, but it's pretty much non-stop rain every day, I've got to leave the cover on and try and work under it as much as I can, or keep it as dry as I can in here to get stuff done. Sometimes life just ain't that easy. <laughs> right. Trouble is, you see, I've got the cover tied down because of all the strong winds. It's not okay, it's not easy just to lift the cover off every time. But it doesn't matter, I can work like this. Once we get most of this done and painted and all the rest of it, I can uh, change things around. Alright, let me think. I've got to try and remember which wires do what here. It might be worth leaving that in there, actually. 
of doing this one. I'm going to rewire this anyway, so no big deal. That one's rusty as well. Yeah, I'm going to rewire all this just as well. Well, like I say, while everything is here, I just as well get it all sorted. Right. Let's just take that off and take it away. If I can. There you go, that gives you some idea of what it's going to look like when they're in position. Obviously, I've got to sort of fix them, paint them, and all the rest. Well, I'll paint the bottom one. And uh, yeah, we'll have a look at them later as well when it's all finished.